and down through the last 300 years, the whole idea of economics was kind of condensed into a debate between those who believed in laissez-faire, who wanted the government to butt out of the economic system. That was one side. But it was always haunted by another side of this debate, a side which said, don't be so quick, you laissez-faire people. You have the government out of the economy. You're going to get yourself into serious troubles. Capitalism has flaws. Capitalism has failures. Private negotiations between workers and employers can and do and will break down. Private deals worked out between buyers and sellers can and will turn sour and need to be resolved. And at that point, who are you going to turn to? You're going to let everybody fight it out? We'll have chaos in the street. We need the government. The government has to be in there, not just to umpire the private system, but to come in and adjust it and fix it and make sure its flaws and faults don't spin out of control. And so we've had it. We've had this great debate. Really, what it's about, how much government intervention should there be? When should it happen? How should it happen? How long should it last? How deep should it go? Those kinds of questions versus those who want the government to butt out, to be minimally involved, etc. So in economics, this is called the debate between neoclassical economics and Keynesian economics. Neoclassical because it harks back to those laissez-faire days when economics and capitalism were first begun. And why Keynes? Because in the biggest failure and breakdown of capitalism in its history, the 1930s, the Great Depression, the leading economist in Great Britain, one of the great powers of the world at that time, was John Maynard Keynes. And he developed an analysis which said, you need the government to come in and get us out of this terrible depression and keep us out of the next one, because the next one will come if we don't have the government involved. So there it is, the debate again. Keynes, more government. Neoclassicals, less government. Here's some other names for the same debate. Here in the United States, you'll often hear it referred to as conservatives, those who don't want the government involved all that much, versus liberals, those who do. Franklin Roosevelt, a big liberal. The Bush family, conservatives, and so on. Then in Europe, they have, again, different words. It's a bit confusing, but you'll get the idea if you hold on to the notion of what the big debate was said to be, more or less government. In Europe, the people who want less government, want to go back to the laissez-faire, are called neoliberals confusing, as I told you. And who are the people who want more government intervention in Europe? They're called social democrats. The names vary, but the issue, it's the same one. 